What's up, YouTube and Podcast Nation? Welcome to the From Setbacks to Success YouTube channel and podcast. I'm your host, Quincy Benton. And guess what? I'm a fella. Not only have I served time in federal prison, but I've been bankrupt. I've been divorced. I've gone through and experienced fire. In short, I've experienced some major setbacks in my life. Some of you, too, watching right now have experienced and are currently experiencing some major setbacks in your lives, too. Setbacks such as a uh, major a tragic loss of a loved one. Uh, maybe you two have been divorced or currently unemployed. Um, but I want you to know that there is hope and there's a way to get through. Through our channel, some of the interviews that you will see on our channel, uh, some of the episodes that we have, including this epi episode, uh, we're going to give you tips, strategies that's going to help you get back in the game and start succeeding uh, once again. So if this sounds like content that would be of interest to you, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you a part of our community. So with that being said, let's jump right into our uh, topic for today, which is going to be the five best jobs for felons for 2021. And not just the five best jobs for felons, but the five best work from home jobs for felons. And I really wanted to focus in specifically on this particular uh, niche of the job market because uh, there is fortunately uh, sources out there uh, that you can find jobs. And I'm going to talk about one of the uh, major sources that I use or have used before uh, to find jobs that I was looking for when I was uh, released from prison. But um, but yeah, there, there are a number of those the different jobs out there, the felon-friendly jobs that you can search for. Um, but I, I've noticed that a lot of conversation uh, is just not uh, talked about or had with jobs for uh, people with past convictions, felony convictions, uh, that can, they can do from home. And I know for many of us, uh, that is uh, pretty much a... a uh, a good job or for some of us in our personalities and just kind of situations working from home would be the best alternative if we could actually find those jobs. But so I wanted to give you some, you know, some uh, resources to how you can find those jobs and give you five jobs that, that I, I've come across myself. So, so let's start with the, the, the source. Uh, first of all, it's going to be Indeed.com. That's I-N-D-E-E-D.com. I'll put a link right here in the description. Um, Indeed is an excellent website. Um, they are the number one, actually, job site in the world uh, with over 250 million unique visitors every month. Uh, Indeed uh, strives to uh, put job seekers first, giving them the success to search for jobs, post resumes, and research companies. Every day, uh, Indeed connects millions of people to new opportunities. So that's directly from, from their website. So uh, I, I use, again, Indeed for, for finding, uh, or have used it for finding different jobs, and I think you'll find it a good resource for you as well. So uh, let's start just with uh, the first job, and this is the one that I know the, the first about from first-hand experience because I actually worked there. And uh, that was working with William Sonoma and people, uh, returning citizens or felons. Uh, I know the idea behind getting a job sometimes is a um, is a tough sell. I know many um, of us are, are independent people in a, in a lot of sense. We we like the idea of working for ourselves and being our own bosses, and and for a n number of different people, that's truly going to be you know, something that's a, a realistic um, thing for them being um, uh, coming out of a prison. Uh, for whatever reasons, you know, there are people who have things already kind of set up for them so they can get right into that and, 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 and succeed. So 
I'm not saying that getting a job is something that you have to do. This is something that, you know, there's just no other way to be successful uh, for a returning citizen, an ex-convict um, or felon to, um, to, to make it in this world. But uh, in some cases, uh, having a job is a, a good situation. Um, it allows you, to gives you, in, in many cases, time uh, to maybe get some things together, you know, whether it be your credit. Um, I know for me, um, working at this particular job, William Sonoma is a customer service agent and uh, ended up being a two and a half year job for me. Um, was very instrumental in helping me get um, things together, lined up in terms of being having the job history to apply for a, a mortgage. Uh, that eventually allowed us to acquire this particular house. And so um, in, in, in some of that, in cases, that's uh, with some, some guys and uh, some women out here who have, you're going to need that. You're going to need some established job history. You're going to need to show, you know, proof of, ver proof of income, verified income, uh, so that you can, in, if that's part of your goals, um, purchase property or purchase investments, this would be a good place to start uh, in order to do that. So so going into the um, full-time customer service agent, work for home position again, there's going to be a link uh, directly to that job. And um, they, they start working uh, pretty much with this position. Uh, I think I applied in 2000 and what year was that? That was 2017 when I started working uh, with them. Uh, it was November of 2017. And they start opening these positions up during the uh, winter holidays, particularly for the Christmas holidays, uh, because a lot of William Sonoma's business uh, begins to pick up during that time. Uh, obviously, Christmas shoppers, people, you know, buying. And so... Uh, they will hire the seasonal workers. Uh, some of the benefits that they 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 offer, and and, and again, um, just going back to what some of the things that you will be doing uh, will do as a customer service representative is pretty much um, is uh, taking calls to assist customers with anything from placing orders and facilitating returns to locating products and scheduling deliveries for all of those uh, William Sonoma brands that they have. Some of the brands they, uh, under William Sonoma would be Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn Kids, um, the other one, Pottery Barn Team, uh, West Down. These are just a few of the brands that they have. And you would be trained in most of those brands to work with customers for a variety of these different issues. Uh, the starting pay for this particular job was uh, $14 an hour. Uh, for me, what that's what is listed now currently on their website. I think when I started uh, back in 2017, it was $13 an hour. And um, they put you essentially on a trial period for the seasonal holidays. So you work there from November until about January. And depending on your performance during those two months, um, they will and, and their availability. Uh, they will extend you a full-time position if you have good reviews, customer reviews, you, you, you know, customers like uh, uh, working with you and feel like you were very uh, are helpful in, in resolving their uh, issues, customer-related is, uh, service issue needs. And so if you can do those things and, um, and they have the availability, they'll offer you a full-time position. And so that was what was extended to me. Uh, in February of, I think it was the latter part of January 2018. Uh, so um, benefits, what benefits do they offer? Uh, so the benefits that they have listed is a 40% discount on most of the merchandise, uh, monthly performance bonuses. Uh, I really didn't see many or much of those while I was there, to be honest with you. Uh, they have contests, rewards, and recognition programs. I did personally receive uh, one of their recognition uh, uh, recognition um, 
one of the awards for uh, outstanding customer service uh, that there was no money attached to it or, or even a prize. <laughs> and then uh, you do, they also offer paid training from home. So uh, while, t before you actually start live in the field, they have a two, uh, two week uh, online training course where they have one of their uh, team members, uh, lead supervisors or leads as they call them, uh, they're training you on how to do, uh, how to work their systems and how to do certain types of calls and, and how to process certain types of requests. So I thought for me that worked out well. It gave me a lot of information about how their company worked and uh, just what needed to be done. And so uh, I thought the training was excellent. Uh, all those, I'll read some of the reviews here. Uh, from from their website that not everybody feels <laughs> feel the same and uh, over time uh, and I, I do will give Williams and Owen credit I did have the opportunity to get overtime in many cases um, and that overtime was time and a half and in in a lot of cases that that would worked out real great for me you know I mean it just again that additional money and income uh, was very helpful so um, some of the qualifications that they uh, list that you'll need is a high school diploma or GED, uh, one to two years of previous customer service. I did have some uh, limited customer service experience uh, back in the day, so I listed that down on my resume. And again, having a good, strong resume prepared uh, initially before you start applying for jobs, uh, I would highly recommend that. And uh, one of the people that I interviewed, uh, her name is Trish Batson. Uh, Trish is uh, an excellent source for that, so I would visit Trish uh, at her website at trish.batson.com, and she could help you with some of those things if you feel like you need to tighten up your resumes and things of that nature. And uh, uh, just they say uh, the strong ability to communicate both verbally and in uh, and, 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 and writing as well. So strong uh, writing and communication skills. Um, there will be um, some equipment that you'll need to work for them. Uh, you'll have to have a, a desktop or laptop computer with a certain level of Windows or a certain level of Mac version on there. I think they're listed right now as Windows 10 if you're a, if you're a uh, Android user or Mac uh, 10 point, Mac OS 10.5, 10.15 or newer uh, for the Mac. Uh, you'll have to have some antivirus, anti-malware software installed at uh, a, mi a minimum of six gigs of RAM, um, a wired headset. Uh, they have a, a, a whole list, uh, and I won't go through every single one of these, but there are certain things that you will need to have uh, set up at home uh, so that you will be properly uh, equipped to uh, to run the software that they will uh, provide you on your computer and to uh, be able to uh, communicate directly uh, with your customers on live calls. So um, anyway, uh, that's just a little bit of there. Some of the reviews. Um, I'll start with the first one. Let's see here get to that and I noticed their reviews weren't great at the time of recording uh, for the ones that um, was listed on the Indeed website uh, but this was uh, I'll read this one this was a three-star review uh, from someone who worked there in July of, this was recent July 13th of 2021 uh, this person said, I enjoyed working there. The training at this company was the worst. <laughs> However, the modules are long and the trainers rush trying to meet the deadline. They focus more on what they do, not really listen. The trainers just throw you out there and you are on your own. So um, this was a three star out of five star review. Um, they said that the pros to the job were the pay, the cons were the chaos. So, um, but uh, again, you know, not a, a, an awesome review, but um, uh, it was three out of five stars. This one, however, the next one was July 28th of 2021. 
to one star review. It says the training for work, for work from home positions is horrible. The work culture of, for work at home positions is horrible. You are just a warm body with a voice and a computer who they constantly remind they can drop you on fire and fire you at any moment. The only stress customer service reps should get is from customers, not fellow employees of their company, especially when it is retail. They take the joy out of retail or e-commerce. They suck the excitement and joy right out of you with how they treat and talk to you. When you work for Williams-Sonoma, you are on your own, except for the bots. You will have to have bots to ask questions. And we all know how well that goes for us as customers. Just imagine how it is as an employee. So it's kind of a harsh review. I wouldn't say that it was, um, the training was horrible and they just throw you out there. I felt like, I, I feel a little different about this particular review, but this is this person's opinion. And uh, again, they list the pros as work from home, the cons is training the way, and the cons is training the way they talk to you and did I say training once again? Um, so those were just two of the reviews. Uh, again, I'll have the link in the description to if you're interested in this particular job. Uh, that you should see that in the, uh, the description here. And um, you can just kind of read some of those reviews you own and make a decision for yourself that this seems like the type of job you would be interested in. Okay, so moving forward, let's go with the second job in this one. In, the, in jobs two through five that I have on my list, I don't have any personal experience with those these jobs. I've never worked there, just for full transparency. Uh, but these were jobs that were listed as available uh, positions for and that um, for people to work remotely or from work from home as well as they don't require any background checks. Uh, and again, uh, the first company I could attest for, I was able to work there without uh, being asked to uh, provide a, 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 any background check being done on me. Uh, so, which was not the case for a lot of other companies that I've tried uh, applying for to work from home that I was simply just denied. Uh, because of uh, my uh, background. So anyway, job number two is Appen. And Appen, uh, just to give you a little a brief description of what they do, they provide reliable training data to give organizations in technology, automotive, financial services, retail, healthcare, and governments the confidence to deploy world-class AI products. Our expertise includes a global crowd of over 1 million skilled contractors, who speak over 235 languages in over 70,000 locations in 170 countries worldwide. So, um, Appen is something, one of the jobs, I'm, again, I'm not very familiar with them. Um, some of the, um, uh, the jobs that they have listed, and again, I'll have links in the description to this particular uh, uh, job on Indeed.com and their particular company website uh, on Indeed.com. And I did not did notice that in terms of pay, that their positions vary by, depending on the job. Um, however, uh, one of the jobs listed that I'll share with you today uh, that was similar to the first job was a customer service uh, representative position. And so, uh, and in that particular job, I think they said that it paid something like $18. It started off at $18 per hour. Again, there will be a link in this video uh, to that particular job if it's something that you think you would be interested in. Uh, just some overall reviews about um, this particular uh, to Appen and some of the people who have worked there and their thoughts about the company. I'll read to you the first one. Um, this was from July 28th, 2021. Uh, this was yesterday. Uh, this was an internet search assessor, assessor who is a current employee of the company. They said that the effort and work that goes into my job is worth much more money than they are willing to provide. Advancement opportunities hardly exist. There's a lot of stress being exposed to some of the uh, 
to some of the social media materials. Uh, they gave, I think this was a one star review. Uh, the pros that they list was working from home, which uh, in a lot of cases, we all know what the, the benefits of working from home is. You, if you have a quiet household, for the most part, you don't have to deal with, you know, other people um, that you may have to deal with, you know, in a one of these call center environments, particularly as a customer service representative. Um, you have, uh, you can save if you only have, say, one, you know, you're limited in terms of the vehicles uh, that you have and you, or you don't have reliable, excuse me, reliable transportation. Um, the, um, uh, you, you obviously don't need that in order to, to go to work. Uh, the commute time from your bed to your, your you know, home office or work office is what, five seconds, 10 seconds. That's, that's a great benefit. And then uh, for people, you know, who are on certain diets or, some, or, or have certain type, type of dietary needs, you're, all, you're able to pretty much uh, eat right out of your refrigerator every day. So, uh, so definitely a, a, a lot of upside to working from home uh, with there. And uh, the cons that this particular person listed was terrible pay and very robotic. Uh, the next review on here was a three-star review. And they said that uh, low play, pay, but it is flexible. This particular employee is an independent contractor. They work remotely from home. They left this their review yesterday as well, July 28th. And they say the positives can work from anywhere within your country. Flexible. You can work any time of the day. And you can work from home. So it looks like their particular job, they could... They, didn't, they don't have to, I know Williams-Sonoma had to be hardwired into my particular computer at my house. I couldn't work remotely from uh, with a, a laptop, say, uh, you know, somewhere in Mexico or, you know, France or so it, if I were on vacation. So um, I did not have that ability with Williams-Sonoma, but it appears that this employee is saying that they have the ability to work uh, remotely wherever uh, within the United States. And so, or with it, whatever country that they work out of. And they said some of the support staff is really great to work with as well. Some of the negatives that they list are low pay, hours are not guaranteed, they hire too many people for a project, and even though support staff is great there, there are no managers to support you. So, again, some mixed bag of reviews, but, you know, no job is perfect. Um, in most cases, so that is that. So Appen will be job number two. Job number three uh, is a company called Magic Ears. And again, uh, I have a link to Magic Ear Ears in the description. Okay, so the third uh, company that I have for um, to share with you guys today is going to be Magic Ears. Uh, Magic Ears is actually an online English tutoring company. Uh, it was founded in 2016 in Beijing, China, uh, expanded to Nashville, Tennessee in 2018, and their mission is to connect a global classroom to every child and to provide the best online career opportunity for teachers. Uh, with a focus on narrow, narrowing the education gap for children in China, we combine a state-of-the-art curriculum, a user-friendly platform, and a network of passionate English teachers to provide high-quality learning experiences that will help prepare, prepare their, propel their students into brighter futures. So, <clears throat> this one um, was listed as a no-background uh, check um, opportunity available. Again, I don't have any personal experience uh, with uh, this particular company. Um, they um, list their pay for tutors as $23 per hour for a tutor, $23 per hour for an English teacher, and $19 for English as, second, uh, as a second language teacher. So I'm a little... Um, questionable about this one. I, I, it does appear that you would need to have a degree uh, from just how they list it, although they don't say that you have to have a degree uh, in order to be a uh, online tutor or teacher in this case. 
Um, they said that they're, um, um, they have a 25-minute uh, classroom environment with up to four students from China. Okay, so Magic Ears is definitely one worth checking out. Uh, again, I'm going to reach out and maybe do a follow-up with Magic Ears to find out exactly what their requirements uh, are and if you uh, again, I know that they don't do a, a criminal background check, and because you're working remotely, uh, teaching kids from China, there's probably no real <clears throat> uh, threat in any kind that someone uh, can have, you know, th who has a background or a criminal record or uh, in this kind of situation, since, again, the students are in China. But I do want to do a little further research on that uh, and, and come back to that uh, as well. But I do want, I, but I did want to share it with you because it, it is listed as a job available for people who uh, have uh, felony convictions. So some of the reviews, just to start off with, I did share with you the pay. Uh, I see a review that was done about a month ago. It says it's a four-star review. It says. Um, you need to understand that this is not a fully one job, so it's, this is kind of, they're saying basically this is more of a part-time job, but they said that I, I love working for Magic Ears. I did not experience any of the horror stories that you hear on YouTube. I had a great experience. I think people need to understand that you are working for a foreign company that does not have the same standards as America. They are okay with canceling contracts. They are a business after all. If you do not want to do this full time, work for two or three companies. Always keep a backup company. I didn't have one, but I didn't need one. I just wanted a little job to take up some time and make some extra cash. Okay, and so that was the first uh, review. So the second review is a five star review. It says no penalties for extremely flexible schedule, no penalties for taking time off different students each time. For me, that makes work a lot stressful, a lot less stressful. Also possible to get bonuses and raises over time. And then, I think this was one that I saw here. Uh, another five-star review, uh, about written about two months ago, a great work from home gig. This is a great work from home gig, but personally, the hours are very tough because they are early in the morning due to the time change. So I guess because uh, the kids are in China, um, that you uh, have to be available when they're available during their days and, and not when they're asleep. And so they're saying that you have to start early in the morning. I have loved my time with the company and they've always worked hard to treat everyone fairly. So uh, that's just a little bit about uh, Magic Ears. Again, this is something uh, that Will need to be further researched, but is a possible uh, 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 work from home alternative for people with uh, backgrounds. And moving to uh, job number four. This one is with the company, uh, it's Amazon's company. It's actually called Amazon Mechanical Turk. Again, you see the link right here in the description for Amazon Mechanical Turk. And they are listed as a crowdsourcing marketplace that makes it easier for individuals and businesses to outsource their processes and jobs to a distributed workforce who can perform these tasks virtually. So without trying to make this too complicated, it does appear that um, these are, are gigs essentially that, uh, that uh, these larger companies will come to Amazon to try and, uh, try and get their assistance in finding people to do, actual people to do these jobs. Um, and, and, and some of these jobs um, will help the larger companies get some of the information that they need to better improve some of their processes. I have heard about certain jobs and saw a documentary about this particular company and some of the jobs that they offer that help them to the these companies who are developing these AI, artificial, artificial intelligence uh, types of things. They need actual people to input the data, to uh, give them the data that is going to better improve uh, the AI functions. So these are jobs, again, that don't require you to have their no background checks uh, with them. 
Uh, at the present time of this recording, there were no jobs listed as available, but uh, I have heard from a variety of different sources uh, that these can be very good, uh, well-paying jobs, uh, first of all, and they work from home, and um, these are uh, just a, a great opportunity uh, for, uh, for people who are just looking for, uh, you know, uh, Legit, in, legit income uh, at, uh, coming uh, fresh out of prison. So, um, some of the reviews, again, the, the pay, uh, going you know, directly into the pay, the pay varies depending on the, the jobs that will be posted as available. And some of the reviews of this particular job, I see the first one is a five-star review. It says this is a freelancer, a person who was working there as of uh, this one's a little older review from December of 2020. It says, I love working for Amazon Mechanical Turk. I have been able to make some extra money working from home with this platform. It's nice to be able to get online, do a little bit here and there, let the money accrue, and cash out when it piles up. Uh, the hits can be really low-paying sometimes, but if you do enough batches of the low-paying ones, it really adds up. Plus, the more hits you do, the higher your rating gets, and the closer you get to the elusive masters, which nobody seems to know how to exact, exactly go about getting. Uh, nobody that has it will say how they got it. I would recommend getting on the Facebook forums, the Reddit forums, install scripts, use MT, MTurk Suite. It saves time, do batches, work in chunks of time, work every day, keep at it. So their pros that they listed are lots of work available, easy to do, always available, and easy to transfer. Uh, transfer funds. The cons are low pay. Um, okay, so we're to the last one, job number five, which is going to be user testing. And user testing, uh, again, I'll have the link uh, listed here that you can go directly to indeed.com uh, to find out more about user testing. Okay, so just to give a little background, and, and I know you're asking the question, what is user testing? So if you have not heard of user testing, user testing is a, as, and I'm reading this directly from their website, uh, they say, get paid to share your perspective with global brands, earn a little extra money in your spare time by helping brands build better products and experiences for people around the world. So uh, that is user testing. How it works, it says, influence the biggest brands, latest technologies, and innovative companies while earning some extra spending time in your spare time. Uh, they show, give you their uh, process. They say, number one, apply, submit your email, and take a quick practice test to join their global network of trusted uh, contributors. Uh, two, browse, answer screening questions to match with test opportunities. New tests are released all the time. Three, you would take these tests, share your perspectives via tests you match with, and help best-in-class brands improve their products and services. And then four, they say make money. Uh, the pay here is going to be earn $4 for every five-minute test, $10 US dollars for every 20-minute test, and between $30 US dollars to $120 uh, dollars for live interviews. So... Again, the whole purpose here is uh, not, not a lot to this. Um, they're the, the big companies, and they have a few listed here like Hewlett Packard, Samsung, Wayfair, CBS, Adobe, uh, Alaska, and Ford Motor Companies. Uh, these companies are always looking to gain information directly from consumers to help them better uh, their, the products that they're making or, or, or considering making or existing products that they have and they need to hear back from actual people to do that. So this is something that you can provide your feedback. Again, uh, no background check and this is an excellent way to make some money uh, for uh, working from home. So, um, let's go to the reviews because I think here I saw some really positive reviews with this particular website, uh, this particular company. Let's see here. 
So the first one is a five star review. Um, and it was, this is a little older, it was written in September of 2020. And they were a website tester. Uh, it says, uh, great company, love it, able to work whenever I want, no penalty if I did not want to work. Uh, it's a freelance company. Really enjoy the work that I do here as a website tester. So the pros they listed is they could work whenever and the cons, no penalty for not working. Uh, there was another review. It's unfortunately a one-star review. The, this person was also a tester, and this was in November of 2020, so this one's a little dated. Uh, service to employees is poor at best. The agents are either rude or just don't follow up at all, and when they do follow up, it's with a scripted canned email that doesn't address the issue. I'm not real sure what that means, but again, uh, they're saying that the pros of this job is that it's flexible and the cons are lack of employee support, test fails, and you don't get paid. So that's, that is not a great thing to see. But this one immediately is followed up by another four-star or a four-star review uh, by saying, and this one person worked remotely from home, a uh, website tester as well. Uh, this isn't a full-time job. You usually take several screening tests to qualify to take a test. They want very specific demographics for each test. I like earning a few bucks here and there, but you won't make a lot. You provide feedback for websites and prototypes to help improve user or the consumer experience. Uh, again, the pros are listed as being able to work from home and that is easy, but the cons is that it's not constant. So. Uh, clearly some shortcomings on this job, but again, uh, it is a work, a work from home job and just one of the options that we have available, uh, that are available to uh, us as people with uh, backgrounds. So, I hope that you enjoyed, but most importantly, gained value from today's episode from Setbacks to Success, uh, the five best work from home jobs for felons for 2021. I definitely want to get your thoughts about today's episode and uh, your thoughts about uh, these particular jobs that, and any other jobs that you know that could be useful for uh, uh, work from home jobs for people with uh, background uh, uh, with backgrounds. Uh, please leave those comments down below. I would uh, love to hear from those and definitely will respond to them. Or you can visit our website directly at from setbacks the number two success dot com to leave your comments on our blog. Uh, respond to all feedback within left left within the first month of this episode release. Uh, as always, um, uh, also um, you can visit our uh, directly on our website at www from setbacks to success dot com. You can leave your comments in our blog on our website. Also, be sure to share this podcast with, and YouTube channel with someone you know, someone who you think might be able to gain value from this type of content. Uh, you can also join us on our social media pages, pages on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, From Setbacks to Success. Again, I appreciate your time uh, that you shared with me today. And, and as always, don't let your setbacks stop you from your success. Till next time, peace. Hey.